so I'm back again here, and it's been a while, but if you're new to the channel, please give a like and a sub, and if you're returning, please, of course, like and do not unsub. <laughs> but uh, let's just make this a real quick one. Uh, recently, I was bouncing around between Windows and Linux just to test uh, sort of the performance of my graphics card and my uh, CPU once they're water cooled. So I switched to water cooling on both. And uh, it's quite interesting to see the performance gains. Like for example, my graphics card can now maintain a constant like 2.5 gigahertz, you know, almost 2.6 in some cases, just constant without throttling. It just stays there, which is kind of amazing. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I wanted to really test this on Windows first just to see, because, you know, Windows always has kind of the higher priority in general, right? So sometimes performance will just be greater there just because of optimization and just better support, right, overall. But Linux is slowly catching up, and it's kind of impressive, too, just from what I've seen, because right now I was, I was playing RoboCop uh, Rogue City, and it actually runs, and it runs really damn well. So it's kind of surprising how well a uh, new release, you know, with a new engine is running right out of the box. And I think I might do a uh, video on RoboCop just to show, like, the opening of it and the performance on Linux. And it's pretty good. It looks good. The graphical errors are actually the same that I observed on Windows. So... uh it's kind of coming out like one to one and in certain cases i feel like it performs better on linux than it does on windows but then i found some cases where there were like sharp fps drops i'm not too sure why i i'm not even sure if it's an officially supported steam game yet but that's besides the point uh right now i just want to talk about counter-strike because it's out there you know csgo 2 specifically i mean not the original Counter-Strike uh, Go, but so CS2 Go is out there. You can install it on Linux. It runs great. Uh, no problems at all, with the exception of the refresh rate. So when you first uh, boot into Counter-Strike, you will see that it's actually stuck at 60 FPS. And if we go to the menu over here, and we go to video, you'll see that the refresh rate is just gone. And on Windows, this is a tab menu, and you can drop down and, you know, select your refresh rate based on what your monitor supports. And so when I came back to Linux, I was kind of surprised that it wasn't available. And so what I thought to myself is, why don't I just go to the top and set it globally? And yeah, it managed to work. So what I mean by that is you have your display properties, right? And... Um, I'm not too sure where it'll be in all Linux distros, right? But there's always a display setting, right? If you're on a window manager, it's most likely you're going to have to go through the command line to do this. If you're on Mate like I am, you can just go to the Displays app here uh, on KDE. I'm pretty sure it's there. I've probably seen it before, uh, but, you know, it's somewhere buried in the settings. And same thing for GNOME and uh, other uh, environments. But, yeah, so... This example is just for uh, the Mate desktop, but it'll pretty much guide you everywhere else. So anyway, so let's click on our display here and we can see our properties. Uh, we have the resolution, refresh rate, which is what we want to change here. So by default, it was set to 60 when I installed Arch Linux and I had not clicked on this uh, monitor uh, preferences app to change anything until I actually saw Counter-Strike and that it was locking itself to whatever the global setting was. And I've seen some other games where it allows you to set the, you know, the refresh rate inside of the application itself, but Counter-Strike itself was reading from this setting here. So I just set to the max that my monitor supports, apply system-wide, then closed, and we were good to go. So if we go back to Counter-Strike over here, uh, this menu will still stay at uh, 120 for whatever reason. I guess it's its own sort of lock here, but we're going to go 
to here to play a game. And yeah, let's just do practice it's here. We'll see the uh, FPS now is no longer restricted actually, which is kind of interesting. I did also activate uh, FreeSync, but we can see here that the frame rate is much higher than 60. But yeah, that's how you would do it, or at least how I would do it. Some other people mentioned uh, setting the refresh rate flag in the launch properties of uh, CSGO 2, but I just thought it was easier to apply system-wide because I would want the whole system to follow this also because uh, once you kind of go into a higher refresh rate, once you see the lower refresh rate, it kind of looks slow unless you're watching a movie or um, playing a really slow adventure game. But uh, yeah, it's just, it, it you really start to notice it once you've gone to the higher refresh rates. But anyway, if you appreciate the content, if you like the fat, fluffy, red hamster, Rin, again, please like and sub if you already haven't. And I really hope that you found this useful.